This video is going to be about the Dell R740XD and how to update the firmware on this particular system, but this will also apply to most other Dell PowerEdge systems as well. So this particular unit has 12 3.5-inch bays in the front, four 3.5-inch bays in the middle, and two in the back. Now, I'm going to open the system up and show you the four bays on the inside. Okay, the cover is now off, and from here you can see all drive bays, 12 in the front, four in the middle, and two in the back. All of them are 3.5 inches. You can also see the RAID card on the side, and it's the 740p. Also, the heat sinks and CPUs are under the hard drives. Here's the view from the back. You can see the two empty 3.5 inch slots for the hard drives, the iDRAC port, and the four SFP Plus ports for the network. We also removed one of the PSUs because it's simpler to update the firmware with one PSU present. Also, sometimes if they're slightly different, you can brick them and make them completely useless. So we just decided to use one. So in this video, we're just going to look at the simplest way to update the firmware on this unit. This method requires you to install Windows on one of the hard drives, then upgrading BIOS, and then Lifecycle Controller, which includes iDRAC. At that point, you will be able to use Lifecycle Controller to update the rest of the firmware, and we're going to show you how to do this right now. We will start the firmware update by logging into Windows by using iDRAC. At this point, we will enter the username and password. Once we log into iDRAC, we are going to open the Virtual Console window. Now, we are going to click the console controls and use the Control-Alt-Delete macro, and enter our Windows credentials. Once we open Windows, we need to open the Microsoft Edge browser and search for R740XD drivers in Google. Now, choose your operating system and choose to download the BIOS and iDRAC lifecycle controller. Now, close the browser. So we skipped the recording for some steps, but first you need to double-click the lifecycle controller firmware update and then the BIOS update. Once the BIOS is completed, the system will request to be rebooted once the lifecycle controller is updated, we can now enter the lifecycle controller by pressing F10 after opening the keyboard menu, and then we can perform the firmware update for the entire system. Once we enter the lifecycle controller, press the firmware update button. We are going to launch it and choose to install the update directly from the Dell website. Next, we are going to get prompted to configure the network. Just choose DHCP for IPv4 and do not configure IPv6. Once the network gets configured, launch the update again. We chose not to configure the proxy settings, and at this point, the system will reach out to Dell and start downloading the latest firmware software for the system. This process takes around 15 to 20 minutes, and once completed, the system will automatically reboot. The system rebooted automatically and all updates were completed without any issues. In conclusion, the Dell PowerEdge R740XD is a very capable system that can support two second-gen platinum processors, three terabytes of memory, and this particular model supports 16 3.5-inch drives with multiple network ports and PCI extension boards. This system is able to run your entire company or home lab. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and watch our other ones recommended to you. Thanks. Built an empire of stars.